yellow leather. leather. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique well, New York. We're live. Oh, oh. Hey, welcome hey, to Love Bells. Sorry. I we, were, no. we were getting our... Uh, you got to relax. Uh, anyway, <laughs> they're not going to know. They don't, uh, care. they don't care. Oh, That's sorry. Fine. Sorry, he's, my he's bad. He's fine. I promise he's good. Sorry, I was just uh, Bradley to... Clark, everybody. Hey. Welcome. Bradley Clark. Hey, Bradley Bills, resident this time. I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to see you again, good sir. Good to see you. We were talking uh, earlier this week when we were planning out the show about uh, our favorite characters, <laughs> favorite movies, that kind yeah. of thing. And uh, apparently, we have something in common. If you want to go ahead and. Big Rocky start. fans. Yeah, Rocky. The movies, yeah. Rocky. Yeah, you know. I mean, yeah. you guys know Rocky, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, yeah. Not, not Bullwinkle. <laughs> Gen X but thank Rocky, you. not Boomer Rocky. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that was that was that uh, is a good. I mean, well, it was on the green. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, it's just, you know. That's right. Oh, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky Bullwinkle. Yeah, Bullwinkle. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were on rerun. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, so we were talking earlier. Yeah. And um, I think it was a really good idea. Like, but the the casting for that movie, yes, was perfect. It was excellent, and, and they, you couldn't get better. Yeah, and and they did it in a, on a very low budget. They had yeah. one big name person, one well known actor who was already older at that time, Burgess Meredith. Burgess Meredith, yeah, Burgess and screen star had been around for a minute already. He was the only one. Sly was. Still slightly unknown. Well, the... and then you had um, you had uh, Adrian, of yeah. course. You know, uh, from Godfather. Right, right. And so you know, she had a little bit, but it, everybody was really. He was the he was the resident star. Like yeah, he was sure. the you know he was the sauce. What? But the idea was okay. <laughs> so what? <laughs> okay. We sit around and things. Get we weird. talk about weird stuff. Like, what if? What if Mick, Burton's Meredith, yeah, yeah. was cast as Rocky? So yes. And right. what if Sylvester Stallone, like he wrote it, and he's like, you know what, I got this script, and uh, I, I want to play the trainer. <laughs> I'm going to play the train. You know what I mean? You know, what would that sound like? What would that be like? So Burgess Meredith is Rocky, and Sylvester Stallone is Mickey. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is going to be tough. All right. Actually, okay. this is actually going to be really tough. <laughs> Okay, so you want? Okay, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got it. No, I wait. Okay, okay. I'll start off. Okay, okay. So there's a scene where uh, Rocky gets a message delivered to him at Mickey's club. And, oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and Rocky's like, but I'm Burgess Meredith playing Rocky, so I'd be like, Hey, 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 Mick, hey, Mick, I hear you got a message for me. Uh, look, look, uh, yeah, Rock. Uh, you know, let me tell you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know What's you, the message, Mick? Well, look, you know, I mean, uh, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to do the training. Yeah. You know, you want to do the training, and uh, you know, you, I don't know, Mick. You, uh, ah, see. Oh, Mick. I knew you were. Well, you know, okay, we'll try to get. It's hard to do. You try it. Try you it try at home. It. <laughs> try it at look, home. You try being Luke Skywalker, as played by Harrison Ford, and Han Solo is played by. There's Mark a Hale. reason it works. That's it's not easy. Like, but but okay, well, we can go over that. Okay. Like uh. Well, you know, you know, Mick, uh, you know, you have, you know, you're gonna get your egg cake. Mick, I said it again. You, look, Rock, Rock, look, look, Rock, look. You go, you go, you gonna get your egg cake then. Oh, hey, hey, you hey, know? Mick, why are you always giving me such a hard time? Look, you hey. wanna train? You wanna train, Mick? You can train. You can train, Mick. All Mick, right. Rock, I'm... you can train, Rock. Oh yeah. Look, you can do it. No, and then, <laughs> anyway, it, it's a good experiment. Yeah, should, but it's, I, you know what? Everybody watching this, you try it. It's, you try it. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Just accents on in general. You know, you know what the great things about waiters are. Hey, what? If you ask them for things and they bring them to you. Same principle as Santa Claus. Can you? No, what, who's that? That's what, Arthur. That's Arthur. That is Arthur. 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 Hey, look. Arthur. Uh, uh, Dudley Moore. Uh, Give it up for Dudley Moore. Hey, look. Tell your kids and ask your parents or grand whoever I, grandparents. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know who watches this show. I actually, you know what? I got that as a gift one year for Arthur? my birthday. I got Arthur two. Oh. As a gift one year. From I don't know why like I was like twelve. Much. It was my mom. That's like it was. Rocky I was five. twelve. Okay. See, here's the deal. 
Rocky Five is an underappreciated movie. It's underappreciated. It, you know, I mean, I it's the first Rocky I saw in the theater. Oh well, so it has some nostalgia. Yeah, it's value. a nostalgia. I get it. I mean, it okay. I didn't like when you know, <laughs> yeah, Rocky gets brain damage, right? And he loses all of his money. I'm right. like, ah, couldn't we keep going? Like, is there some coma. other? And his coach. I mean, isn't there some other country that we were having beef with at the time? You know what I'm saying? Like, couldn't we, you know what I mean? Fast forward, but but no, I didn't like that. But it was so it was a lot of fun to see. It was you know Tommy Gunn was eh, you know Tommy Morrison. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. But uh, but you know you 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 know, over there, hey, the Frankie Fit. You got you know what I mean, Tommy. You got to get the fit. You know the Frankie. Fit. You know, and he was doing all that. I'm like, man, oh dude, that sucks. But again. Okay, Mick comes back. Right. Well, it's a memory. That, it's a memory. And he and gives him the... I see, once again, it's like it was a perfect... Can you imagine Rocky going, Hey, yo, hey, yo, I know I'm, I'm dead now. now but hey, yo. <laughs> Let's see if I, thing, Mick. Let me see if I can get this off my neck. Yeah. You know, we're doing it. We're doing it, Brad. We're doing it. Sorry. Oh, we're doing the scene. We're, well, hey, look, look. Oh, well, hey, look. geez, Mick. You look, don't have to do that. Well, let me tell you. Right, right, let me tell you something, okay? I got this. MC Hammer gave it to me. <laughs> and, uh, he had the pants. <laughs> yeah. And it was, you know, you have it now. Wow, Mick. That was, you know, it was another <laughs> thing with the thing, and he was dancing. And it was it was really good. Yeah. Well, well, he said, no, you can't touch can't it. You oh, can I wear can it, too, it. if you All want right, it. Mick. All right, Rock. I mean, I'm all right there, Rock. <laughs> you're a bum. That's all I'm saying. You're, you're a bum there, Rock. Yeah, you're a bum. To, it's how it doesn't to. work. The only reason we're talking so much about Rocky is because we love the city of Philadelphia. We love and Philadelphia. We love the artist, artist that's here tonight. He uh, has been in such notable bands as Taking Back Sunday. Uh, say anything, breaking Pangea. His name is Fred Mascherino. He's going to be gracing our stage. Stay tuned. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be awesome. Hey, I'm Phil from Live at Bill's. Thanks so much for watching. One way you can support the show is by going to our website, store.liveatbills.com. That's our merch shop. You can get one of these t-shirts, you can get a coffee mug, take it to work. People are like, what's Live at Bill's? You tell them, they subscribe, and we have more viewers, our community gets bigger. It's a good thing. Thanks for watching. That's what I said. Yeah, Taking Back Sunday. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. No, 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 no. Not Maraschino. Maraschino is a cherry. His name is Fred Mascherino. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. You want? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, oh, we're on. Tiny Phil, we're on. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the Lima Bill stage, Fred Mascherino. <laughs> gonna joke when it really counts I'm gonna get kicked when I'm down I'll give you so much satisfaction you'll drown in it in it I'm gonna trip at the highest speed play so bad your ears will bleed I'll give you so much satisfaction you'll need a rest just to breathe and all this fighting will amount did it before or is it gonna be easier is it gonna be more than i could take if i surrender if i surrender is it gonna be easier is it gonna be more than i could take if i surrender if i surrender my heart breaks and i feel no pain 
voice cracks, yet it's still the same I'll give you so much satisfaction You'll blame yourself just for once Apologize for what I never did My darkest secrets and everything I hit I'll give you so much satisfaction You quit your complaining, but I know you never will So all this fighting will amount to nothing more You're bent to break I did it before, is it gonna be easier? Is it gonna be more than I could take? If I surrender, if I surrender, is it gonna be easier? And is it gonna be more than I could take? If I surrender, if I surrender, they took from you all they could get. You hold on tight to what is left. You'll never give up like you used to. You'll never give up like you used to. You'll never give up like you used to. And you used to. Is it gonna be easier? Is it gonna be more than I can take? If I surrender, if I surrender, is it gonna be easier? Is it gonna be more than I can take? If I surrender, if I surrender, is it gonna be easier? Ah, easier. Or will it amount to nothing more? You're bent to break just like before. You're bent to break. Like before, you bent to break, you bent to break. Thanks so much, guys. I was called uh, If I Surrender. This next one is Hate to See You Go. They're both from my first solo album, Bend to Break. the room in vain try to waste the energy I'll never spend on you I'm lying on this bed I never touch not right now if I'm over this by morning that's a future I can't see well I'm gonna hate to see you go but I've been impossible I know yeah I'm gonna hate to see go, but I know you're just waiting, oh, 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 oh. and when you're young, you decide what you can and cannot take, promises that you made, that you wish you Yeah. 
hours I lie awake Ah, oh, the hours I lie awake Ah, oh, the hours I lie awake I'm gonna hate to see you go Thank you so much. I want to play a um, little finger picking ditty next. This is from uh, an album I did with a band called Terrible Things. Phil from Live at Bills. Uh, if you're new to Live at Bills, go on over to our website, liveatbills.com. You can see links to all the performances that have been on the stage since the beginning and a list of upcoming bands. You can learn all about the crew and you can stop by the store and buy a t-shirt or coffee mug or a pint glass. A lot of things, really.
thank you so much for watching. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard a little bit from him. Let's get to know him a little bit. Here he is, Fred Mascherino. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Fred, thanks for being here, man. We're really excited that you're here. Uh, it's my pleasure to be back in Texas again. Love it. Yeah, you've been here before. You're not a stranger to Texas. Many times. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. love it. Now. I like coming in the winter because it's... It's very cold up north yeah. where I'm from. Yeah, so. <laughs> and not so cold here. Don't come here in July or yeah. August. I yeah, I, I'm glad I'm, it's we're past that. <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, stuff sounds great. Thank you. Um, Thanks. It, I I know you've got a long history of playing music, yeah. and but uh, talk about the new stuff. The uh, the color Fred is the new band. Yes, correct. Yeah, and I, I've been doing this as a solo project for a while, but I did just in the last couple of years put a band together and uh, we released uh, last year a new album, so 14 songs. And yeah. um, we, we actually released it one song at a time for a year. We did a song a month. We recorded one song a month too. Wow. That was hard to keep up with. Yeah. Uh, we were running behind a few times and just snuck it in the last minute <laughs> it's like midnight but, yeah, on the yeah we promised it'd be one one a month which you should never promise things Don't, you can't do yeah, but exactly <laughs> yeah making promises in this business is is not a good idea yeah right. um so tell me a little bit about where the inspiration for just what you're doing now the yeah the, the, what we're seeing tonight where did that come from so um i wanted to do this acoustic tour for years and um um, I jokingly call this the Fred Eras tour um, because I'm basically basically playing songs from all the bands I've been in over the yeah. years, um, which I'm best known from Taking Back Sunday. Yes, but I, I um, I've played you know my college band, um, my um, uh, the band Breaking Pangea that mm -hmm. I did after that that led to me joining TBS and Color Fred, and I also did a band. Uh, the last song I just played was from Terrible Things, which is sort of a, a, I won't call it a side project, but I was in a band for a while with the drummer of Coheed and Cambria, okay. Josh Eppard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, him and I did Terrible Things with a guy, Andy Jackson. And okay. we were on Universal. Universal. We did a record and, and an EP. And uh, so that was what that song was from. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm kind of playing all those songs mixed up into one um, that's so, cool. Yeah, that's got to be a lot of fun. It's super. It's super nostalgic. Yeah, um, yeah. Because I get the you know I haven't been in TBS since two thousand and eight. Right. So um, you know the you know I'm coming out and playing those songs for the first time of me playing them uh, since then. Yeah. So it's it's really you know people sing along at the shows and you know even the early color Fred stuff that I'm playing or Breaking Pangea. And it's just really neat. It's sort of like my life's work on display. That's so. very cool. That's awesome, guys. Oh, guys if you get a chance to go see Fred Mescherino out live doing his acoustic thing, go do it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Is it interesting, Fred? Do you see like, oh, they know me from this. Oh, and that guy knows yeah. me from that. Is yeah, that, no. So how does that like? How does that feel when well, you see like a gambit of a crowd? It's kind of neat because. Um, I I uh, I'll say I'm assuming that most people know me from Taking Back Taking Sunday, Back but Sunday. I'll say any requests and someone will yell out a Brody song, which is a song I did in in college. And yeah. how do you know that? You're too young for that. And, and uh, um, but it's really cool that people will know all of my material, and yeah. and uh, so it's. Or they'll ask for like a really obscure Taking Back Sunday song, and I'm like, okay, these people know what's up. And, right. You know, so it's been really fun um, and uh, rewarding. I'm I'm doing an EP along with the tour, uh, and I released the first single, um, "Against Forgetting." Um, yeah. That that's a Brody song. It's actually a song I wrote. I hate to say this, but 30 years ago, wow. when I was a mere teenager, yeah. <laughs> and I I redid it acoustic. It was like a punk song back yeah. then, and. Um, you know, it's it, it kind of shows that my style hasn't it's evolved, but it hasn't changed. It still sounds like stuff I would write now. So right. it's it's kind of cool that you know you might hear that and say, "Oh, this sounds like that that Taking Back Sunday song or that Terrible Thing song." And, yeah. Um, so it, it I've always had like 
since I was a kid, these songs that I write and in a certain style. And that's very cool, that's, man. Yeah, they, they, so when I play them acoustic, they're all on an equal playing level, yep. and you say, okay, these, these fit together. You know, that's so. very cool, man. And uh, as well as playing out, having the bands, yes. uh, you also have a label. Yes. Talk uh, about that. What's the name of the label? It's Heading East Records. Heading East, okay. And um, basically, um, I produce bands. I have a studio back in the Philly area in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and I... Uh, I was finding these great bands and I'm helping them make their songs great and I'm and I was sending them to labels that that I knew uh, or that I've been in in the past and and everyone would say this this is so awesome did you, you know this band is fantastic but we know we aren't signing anyone right now and I yeah. feel like I'm waiting for the other guy all the time yeah. or I'm waiting for the labels to send me bands to produce or whatever and I thought I got tired of waiting. So during COVID, I was, you know, I had some bands, some really great records I had done, and and uh, and also some bands, some records I hadn't done yeah. of bands that I admired, and I started hitting them up. Hey, if if I do a label, will you know? And these guys and these guys do it. Will you do it? And yeah. and so and I also had my own record about to come out, and um, my daughter. Uh, she plays in a group. Uh, her music is called Lilito, L I L I T O. She had a full length album done. Nice. She's uh, she's 21, and cool. uh, so so I kind of had all these releases ready to go, and we just started doing it. And the idea of the label is, um, you know, I sort of use it as a way to help young bands and mentor a little right. bit. And uh, they they all help each other. Like before, I sign a new band, I I make everyone on the label listen to it. And I, Should I sign these guys? Would you play a show with them? And then yeah. they all get each other. You know, there's a band from Connecticut, a band from New York City, a band from Philly, and they all play the different towns with each other yeah. and help each other grow. So sure. it's a nice it's a nice little community that I'm trying to set up. That's what we love here at Live and Build, folks. <laughs> That Thank is you. definitely the heart and sentiment behind this show. Is Amazing. Kind of almost be like a hub. Yes. Where a safe place where people can go and share their music and work with, find other musicians. That's amazing, man. So that being said, is there any like, and I know this is tough, but in two sentences, yeah. is there a, like just advice for young musicians or up and coming bands that you would give? I, I think the most important thing for a young band is is to be consistent um you know it's okay to take take off a few months to record your album sure. write your album um but once your album is ready um you you know try to have a plan and have uh what i do i'll record a bunch of um uh, content let's say uh, and sort of instead of just putting the album up and assuming everyone's going to find right. it, which they're not, <laughs> right. um, you know, release one single, you know, every four to eight weeks and but be building toward, hey, this is going to be on our new album and right. always just push that message. Or if it's an EP or whatever, or if you just do singles, just be consistent about it and don't kind of don't let up and because once you let up people will move on to the next band right. and you know that 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 hurts your feelings you know yeah. it's sad yeah, it you sure know does. So, so. Yeah. it does well that's cool man uh you know fred i we've only we've hung out now this long today <laughs> we, we had one phone conversation before today but uh it was a good combo yeah it was good it was good it was cool i was out there back in the back at bills you know fred was in a hotel room in vegas yeah i, think, I, I uh, yeah mistaken. yeah living it up uh. <laughs> planning his adventurous night <laughs> That ended at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, no, I. <laughs> right. I, exactly. You know how it is when you're on tour. It's yeah. not all mattresses. It's not all windows. parties. Yeah, it's, you, eventually you get too tired to, yeah. to move. <laughs> but uh, we, I, I feel like we made a little bit of a connection. I think I, so. I think we're going to be pretty good friends in the future. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I, a fortune teller, but I have your phone number. Yeah, so man, it's I, pretty I, cool. I have his phone it's number. It's a big too. step. I'm at work. I'm like, hey, Fred. Who's, like, Who's Fred? But anyway, that's not true. Uh, um, so, but what we do here at Live at Bills, 
is I do have Phil's friend application. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions, and you'll answer. Truthfully, All right, I'm a little hope. nervous about Don't it. Don't be nervous. Uh, There's no grades. <laughs> no grades. But um, I will tell you how you did after the show. Okay. Uh, um, uh, so here we go. You ready? Everybody ready for yeah. Phil's friend application? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Uh, Jimmy Stewart or John Wayne? Jimmy Stewart. 80s or 90s? 80s. Mork and Mindy Robin Williams or Patch Adams Robin Williams? <sighs> Goodwill Hunting. Um, uh, Mork and Mindy. I can't remember mm -hmm. Patch yeah. Adams. <laughs> Taking Back Sunday or Panic at the Disco? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got to go I got to go with my brothers in TBS. Yeah, there you go. Big man, we're taking back. Right, so <laughs> Sorry. My guy tickled myself with that one. Halloween or Christmas? Uh I can go Halloween. It's right, it's October. Right. Beyoncé or Lizzo? Beyonce. All right, all right. Two Houston girls. That's what I did there. Oh, her, his favorite Houston. Pressure. Girl. David Bowie or Peter Gabriel? Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Peter Gabriel by an inch. Oof. Just, I mean, it's. I mean, I don't know. If yeah. who to hang out? I don't know. <laughs> Eggplant or zucchini? Yeah. Eggplant. There you go, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that was, We're gonna be good friends. So. He did pretty well. Thanks so, for watching live. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no. Just on that whole application, oh, there's yeah. one last thing. There was something I was watching some of the old shows to oh, prepare cool. for this show. Yeah, there was something you said, you know, as you know, I'm from Philadelphia area yeah. and, you know, I'm a bit of a Phillies fan. And there's something you said recently and I was, uh, I, I caught it and, uh, you know, I don't. I, I think I hurt my feelings. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, we're not supposed to date the episodes, but um, my Houston Astros just won the World Series, yeah! so I don't care. <laughs> Suck it, Philly. Oh, sorry, sorry. Straight sorry. through the heart. <laughs> that, I, Come on, I'm Phil. pretty sure that was photoshopped and, and AI. <laughs> I, I'm just, <laughs> man. I'm. It won't happen again. The next time the Astros beat the Phillies in the World Series, I'll be very nice about it. Well, that, well how would that ever happen? <laughs> it won't happen. Fred, thank you so much for no, being pleasure. here. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be thank back you. with more Fred Mascherino. So <laughs> hey, thanks for watching Live at Bills. My name is Phil Morell, and I would appreciate it if you have the need for any screen printing, t-shirts, anything like that, go check out our friends at SOB Screen Printing. You can find them online, you can give them a call, Wendell will answer the phone. Wendell's a good buddy of ours and he's gonna get you taken care of. He made my shirt, check it out. Guys, you might need a shirt, it's gonna get cold. You gotta, you gotta go to SOB Screen Printing, talk to Wendell, he's a good guy, he's a friend. If you come at him wrong, stab you in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're so glad you're here. Remember anything that we talked about during the interview, you can find in the descriptions below, including where to find Fred, where he's playing, where you can download his music, stream his music, all that kind of good stuff. <sighs> Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome again to Live at Bills, Fred Mescherino. I wish you could see me as I sit here. Sometimes the phone won't ring for days A lonely reminder that you're just not coming back And sometimes I can almost see your face As it looks the other way Not forgetting me today See the darkness staring back And I guess what you would say If you were here right now 
Well, I've been waiting for you to call me up Just so I could tell you we shouldn't talk Another failed crusade Me turning you away Still I miss the things we used to say So have you called me lately? Or maybe I just missed your call Maybe you just didn't miss me at all So are we getting somewhere? Is it always up to you? Someone I thought I'd always have Six months since I have heard from you so much guys that was against forgetting which is the song i wrote when i was a teenager and my newest single the acoustic single um i'm also going to play a brand new uh, a song from the newer color fred record um this is about um when i was uh just a couple years ago when i was stuck um working as a warehouse manager and not getting to play much music um really happy to be back doing it again so this is, thank you. This is called Never Wanted. You take the sum of all the things you hate. It's equal to a generation's age You take the sum of all the things you love And when was the last time You even thought of those Like the daily grinds of the working stiff Or the hopeless man looking down a cliff and what dream did we forget to wrap up before we came to? Don't you ever want to how it turns out for you? I never wanted to be either man Caught in the net without a backup plan away the only thing I loved replace it with a lesser version of expect me not to tell in between the two but what were the last words I ever spoke to you like a loyal man when the passion's gone Empty marriages left to carry on And what dream did we forget to Wrap up before we came to Don't you ever wonder how it turns out for you I never wanted to be either man Caught in the net without a backup plan
you when you walk up to those gates how did you spend your time was it for love was it for hate was it for nothing and was it for nothing I never wanted to be like a daily grind of the working step or the hopeless man looking down a cliff and what dream did we forget to right but before we came to don't you ever wonder how it turns out for you for you Thanks so much, guys. This next song is uh, actually a Taking Back Sunday song. It's the first song on Where You Want to Be, my first album with the band. Thank you. Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. I'm sorry it took me so long. I'm sorry it took me so long I'm sorry it took me so long Your famous last words started Once your fingers hit the snooze Just nine more minutes, please They all know where to find Every word that I said What a big mistake And the ones you left out Keeping me I won't ever make another promise I won't ever make another promise Pace the stairs to your apartment Like it's where you wanna be Where you wanna be I'm sorry it took me so long I'm sorry it took me so long I'm sorry it took me so long Well, there's this secret I've been perfecting I swore I wouldn't, but you let them I'm comfortably confused You got in so removed You know I, I could take the place off those pills Ocean blue, PC white now Who you gonna call tonight? I won't ever make another promise I won't ever make another promise Piss the stairs to your apartment Like it's where you wanna be Where you wanna be So pace the stairs to your apartment Like it's where you wanna be Where you wanna be We paste our sins on the ceiling I keep them glued to my chest It keeps me close like a promise kept Say yes, say yes, say If we're talking my sleep And you just keep trying I might give it up if you just keep trying If I talk in my sleep If I talk in my sleep If I say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes I'm sorry it took me so long Say yes, say yes, say yes, say I'm sorry it took me so long Page the stand to your apartment Like it's where you wanna be Where you wanna be And pace the stairs to your apartment Like it's where you wanna be Where you wanna be Thanks so much. It's fun playing that one. I'm going to actually put that one on my acoustic EP as well, so I'm looking forward for people to hear that, that version of it. So. I'm going to play another TBS song as a closer. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching, and thanks to Live at Bill's. You guys are amazing.
song is called New American Classic. I hope you like it. I wrote this song for my parents uh, like five years before I joined TBS, so uh, I hope you dig it. It's got to get better said It's all in your head We could live through these letters Or forget it all together See, the months, it don't matter It's the days I can't take When the hours move to minutes And I'm seconds away Just ask the question Come untie the knot Say you won't care Say you won't care Retrace the steps As if we forgot Say you won't care Say you won't care Try to avoid it But there's not a doubt And there's one thing That I could do nothing about All that we need is just a reaction It's too much to ask for And there's no attraction And if chasing a dream is just a distraction I want to remember when I know that I can't go Just ask the question, come untie the knot Say you won't care Say you won't care We trace the steps As if we forgot Say you won't care Say you won't care I try to avoid it But there's not a doubt And there's one thing That I could do nothing about Just ask the question, come untie the knot Say you won't care, say you won't care Retrace the steps as if we forgot Say you won't care, say you won't care Try to avoid it, but there's not a doubt in this one Thing I could do nothing. There's one thing, and I could do nothing. There's one thing that I could do nothing Hey, thanks for watching Live at Bills. My name is Phil. I'm the host of Live at Bills, and we would appreciate it if you would go to our 
Hey, my name is Phil Morell. I'm the host of Live at Bill's. Thanks so much for watching. Please go. I don't know why I'm saying go. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it live. It sucks. <laughs> no, no, probably not at all. Hey, thanks for watching Live at Bill's. My name is Phil Morell. I'm the host of Live at Bill's. And we would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that little bell, that way you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in again to Live at Bill's. A big thank you to the Starkeys, Chris Starkey, this man in particular, his son's band, Blackmore, hooking up with this guy, Fred. All making it happen. Thank you, Fred. Sounding amazing. Of course, big thank you to Bradley Clark, our uh, stand-in, this guy, and to me. A big thank you to me as well. What do you think? And a big thank you to our in-house crowd. He was amazing. And thank you to you. Uh, you can find out where Fred's playing, where Blackmore is playing, all these bands. You can find those that information in the descriptions below. So make sure you check that out. Stay tuned. We got a lot more great music and a lot more mediocre comedy coming your way from Live at Bills. Thank you for watching. Yes, speaking, yes, I hear myself and it's amazing. <laughs> My name is Phil Morell. We are glad you are here. We are also glad that Brad is here. Well, I'm glad that Brad is here. You have a big ring on your. That's a scary lion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> Roar, <there's... laughs> Roar. We're a very progressive show. <laughs> Greed, lust, sloth, envy, and. Rage are known as the Bill of Rights. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Bill of Rights. <laughs> Make sure this thing doesn't turn on you like that. You know, like people. You know what I'm saying? I, I, oh. Here, Tom. Yes, hello. Let's, let's just, dip, let's just go with our, with our inner thespian. Yes, Phil. With our inner thespian, Phil. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Oh, now you're doing Frank. Now he's doing Frank. <laughs> What's It'll be fun. This whole thing's gonna be chaos and madness. Yeah, for yeah, like yeah. five minutes. <laughs> That's right. Let's be going. Fred Mascherino. Fred Mascherino. Red leather, yellow leather. Fred Mascherino. Uh, the the very kid. <laughs> oh, is that what he was? Talking about chest hair. <laughs> Talking about gold medallions. Gold medallions. Oh, my God.